Hello, everybody. Welcome to this uh, podcast. I want to have a chit chat about the current inflation rate in in Cameroon, and uh, you must have noticed in the last couple of days that many Cameroonians on social media have been commenting and complaining a lot about the ongoing inflation uh, situation. Uh, uh, many have started experiencing the increase in prices around daily living items from cooking oil to bread to sanitary uh, parts to, 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 to some taxi drivers, and commercial motorbike riders, uh, adding a few francs on the normal uh, tariff. And uh, if you talk to many Cameroonians now, what you will get is uh, is that the biggest financial problem now is financing the cost of living. Why is this a problem? Inflation is spiking while salary it remain the same. Inflation is increasing. Meanwhile, some businesses are not able to make more profit. You see, uh, inflation is increasing while we um, have not seen any concrete actions from the government uh, uh, maybe in terms of better economic policies. And towards the end of 2021, I wrote an article warning, uh, raising the point that we may experience serious inflation come 2022. And in February, I wrote another article calling on entrepreneurs and business people to have a plan in place on how they will tackle the issue of inflation and in Cameroon the inflation is spiking as days go by as a result of a couple of things and I would like to highlight some of these things um, which I think they are responsible for the um, severe inflation happening right now and it may increase or it may remain the same like this for the next couple of months. The number one uh, thing I think that is happening is the ongoing crisis in the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon. I mean, this the crisis started um, since 2016 or so, and these regions are not 100% economically functioning, and the government is also losing money in financing the or the. the financing the soldiers or the military uh, against uh, uh, whatever they're fighting against and um, it is the seamless movement of goods services money and people and functioning institutions that makes up an economy so since people cannot move freely since goods cannot be transported anytime during the day or in the night since money cannot be moved anytime it is it this affects the economy a lot and it forces the economy to struggle the food supply that leaves these regions to the rest of the country especially Duwana and Yaoube the major cities in the country has been handicapped for these years and it therefore leads to a lot of price hikes as far as food is concerned so this alone is plays a very big role as far as inflation is concerned right now in Cameroon. also the, the next thing is the heavy economic mismanagement you know with the high corruption and mismanagement of public funds for personal gains it reduces the general value creation and monetization which could have benefited the general public thereby facilitating economic activities for example money meant for farm to market growth money meant for <clears throat> The building of local markets etc are in the pockets of individuals and since the the, 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 the the goals or the objectives for the money have not been achieved this slows down economic growth and this consequently can lead can contribute to inflation we cannot uh, talk about the the, the 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 inflation issue without bringing COVID-19 
COVID-19, which hit the global value chain, definitely is still affecting Cameroon. It led to the export reduction of our commodities like cocoa and coffee and timber and all of those, coupled with the drop in the prices in the international market. This negatively affected our export, and that can um, affect us uh, and, and contribute to the inflation. What about the war between Russia and Ukraine? Since we still have a weak and struggling agricultural sector, also plagued with serious embezzlement and corruption, Cameroon government says Russia's war on Ukraine is responsible for wheat shortage that has led to a 40% increase in the price of bread. And, and Cameroon is encouraging local substitutes like cassava and yams to replace the wheat usually imported from Russia and Ukraine. This is according to Voice of America News. The next thing also causing the inflation rate is the inadequate skills among Cameroonians. Here, I will focus on inadequate digital and virtual skills. It is still a challenge for many Cameroonians to live in Cameroon and make money from other countries. And in the midst of inflation, it, it, it will be a plus if, <clears throat> if more Cameroonians can make money from bigger economies. And that is a challenge because they don't have the adequate skills enough to create value that can prompt people from different countries to, to pay them. The challenge of poor internet, unstable electricity, and the challenge of receiving seamless payment online also comes into play as a result of all these uh, um, difficulties, which also contribute to the inflation. The question now is, what is the way forward for individuals and businesses? What should we be looking at? Well, let me start from the government perspective. Uh, let us hope that the government leaders with their economic technical advisors will wake up and do their job. Maybe they will start thinking of reducing import taxes. They will start thinking of um, reducing VAT uh, on, 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 on basic products and services to, to increase the purchasing power of the citizens. It is also high time for our government leaders uh, 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 to be serious about consuming and producing and promoting made in Cameroon products. If Cameroon will reduce inflation, the government must practically work up and enforce policies that will lead to the mass functioning of local economies. Local production must work up. And the government, another thing the government can do is the price control department may need to sit up. They should take actions to prevent businesses from charging certain goods and services above prices above the above the, the standard prices and should be in the market in the field to actively control the price height and uh, <clears throat> it's very important to, uh, to note that uh, uh, before our local companies can rise to meet the demand maybe the government should permit um, duty-free import of certain consumer goods this will this will help the importers to also reduce the prices of these goods and will help the price control department to also make sure that the importers respect the prices uh, uh, that the government must will recommend for these uh, importers to to put place as far as the imported goods are concerned since they will be imported and they will benefit from duty-free uh, 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 taxes for individuals, I will recommend that as an individual, you can start by checking your spending habits. Stop spending money on unnecessary stuff. Stop spending money to prove a point that you are doing well. Conserve cash as much as possible so you can spend the money on basic necessities. Focus on making a living and not showing off or not proving a point. The second thing that individuals can do is manage utilities. For example, if you used to sleep with light on, maybe it is time to start putting up the light when you go to bed. You used to wash your car at home two times a week, maybe you reduce it to once a week. 
I am not saying that you should punish yourself. I am saying you should cut out some excesses. The next thing is diversifying income. You know, seeking more passive ways to make money and uh, if possible, find more ways you can make money beyond your country. And for this to happen, you need to develop a lot of digital skills to do that. You can order any of my any of the following courses that I provide uh, to help you um, discover and, and, and be able to, 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 to gain new ways of making money. Courses like Sources of Passive Income in Cameroon and Africa, How to Become a Corporate Community Manager, uh, and a freelance affiliate marketing techniques and techniques to build an international career using social media. These are courses that you can get and begin to equip yourself um, to become a better professional. You can WhatsApp plus 237-674-949153 to order the course. The next thing is take care of your health. Yes, take care of your health. Preventive actions are critical. Now, it is better to go through the process of washing your hands than not washing your hands and contacting bacteria and spending money in the hospital. That money should go for basic living like food. It is better for you to wake up in the morning and do physical exercises and keep fit than uh, not keeping fit and at the end you are spending money in the hospital as a result of poor health. Have a budget. That's the next thing I recommend to do. Have a budget. It could be weekly budget, monthly budget. This will help you to avoid impulse buying. You see something you want to buy but it's not in your budget, it can wait. Having a budget is the best way to keep cost under control. And the last thing I recommend is maintain a good saving habit if you can maintain a good saving habit the truth is we do not know how long this inflation will last but to be on the safe side save a lot of money as much as possible that's why you need to be careful of your spending habits reduce your spending habits and increase your savings habits for businesses, I would recommend that for any business to grow and remain sustainable, that business needs committed and skilled staff. I therefore recommend founders and CEOs to increase salaries or create inflation allowance for their employees. This can lead to motivated employees who are willing to go the extra mile for the business, thereby bringing more sales and profitability, increase salaries, increase realistic KPIs, and hold them accountable to deliver on these key performance indicators. Also, upskill and reskill your staff to be competitive. The next thing I recommend is with inflation affecting the amount of import into the country, local SMEs, local small and medium sized enterprises should improve on their product quality do their best to make quality standards, intensify marketing, intensify customer acquisition, set competitive prices, lower but profitable prices, and they will sell more to customers who will afford to buy. And in the midst of inflation, it is not time to make abnormal profits, but it is time to be profitable enough to stay in business. The third recommendation for businesses is you can retail your business to focus on inflation favorable sectors. If you have the resources and expertise, you can start a business or expand your business into those sectors that grow more profitable in the midst of inflation. For example, you can expand into agriculture or because people must eat. You can expand into education because people must go to school or people must upskill to become better for the economy. Next is reduce unnecessary costs and expenses. I will advise every business person, go through your operations. Go through how you operate your business, how you run your business. What can you stop doing that can lead to cost reduction and expenses? What do you need to reduce? What, what do you need to start doing that can increase your profit and reduce your cost and expenses? You need to look at your operations and analyze it and, and improve where necessary. In all of this, no matter what happens, keep believing in future possibilities, right? Do not be depressed, do not be worried and all of that. Dude, it's, it's chaotic, yes. It's challenging, yes. But as I always say, 
you have a higher chance of succeeding when you have clarity in the midst of chaos. So no matter what is going on, believe in future possibilities. Have a lot of clarity about the future. Also put God first place. While you work, do your best to also remember that God's plans, also remember God's plan for you. And Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 says, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. God, God, you're back in this challenging time. Pick what works for you. Learn where you can. Disagree where you can. But all that you're doing, keep growing, keep perfecting, keep being better, keep creating value, keep being strategic. Don't let things to don't don't be intentional. Do not allow things to chance, and that is how we will get out of this uh, particular season. Keep shining, keep building that dream. My name is Jeff New Joybert. It was nice having you here. Thank you for listening. Please share with somebody if you found this to be uh, to, 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 to to be valuable for you. Please share with somebody. You can visit my website, jaffnewjoybread.com. My two names, jaffnewjoybread.com. Or you can send me a WhatsApp message, plus 237-674-949153. And we will stay in touch and have a good chat. Keep chatting. Cheers.